After the Skyrim Fossil 2 and 3, we finally have the new updated version, the Skyrim Fossil 6. This one has definitely one of the prettiest designs of all of the small watches out there. This one is not too big for women and not too small for men since this one is only available in one size, which is 41mm. Now that also makes it a good companion for workouts if you're smart enough to not get the Milanese stainless steel version like me and get the silicon strap instead. Now before we start with the video, make sure to hit the like button right now and subscribe to my channel if you are new and like that kind of content. Also click the notification bell to never miss out on any new tech reviews. And now let's get started. So like I already said, this watch is only available in the size of 41mm, but therefore we have 6 different styles to choose from. So we have 4 different Milanese stainless steel versions, we have one brown leather and a black silicon strap, of which I think is the most viable option if you're planning on doing any sports with this one, since we do have a whole bunch of different workout modes to choose from. Also, I was just wearing this watch on your right wrist instead of your left wrist, since if you're doing push-ups, you'll see your hand will bend over and you'll most likely push any buttons and that is kind of annoying every once in a while. But besides that, the lower and the upper button are customizable, so you can connect these buttons to any of your pre-installed apps on your watch. Like my lower button takes me to the NFC payment and the upper one takes me to the wellness app. With the middle one you can get to the app menu or by long pressing it, it takes you to the Google Voice Assistant. By the way, in order to change the apps on your buttons, you have to head over to your settings, personalization and click on custom hardware buttons. And over here you can change things up whenever you want to. As well as this watch has a big 1.26 inch AMOLED touch display with a resolution of 416 by 416 pixel. It is also water resistant up to 5 ATM, has a mic and a speaker, has the newest Snapdragon Wear 4100 Plus, so this watch is not lagging at all and is super responsive. And the middle button is actually rotatable. So you can swipe through your tiles and apps with your fingers like you are used to, but you can also turn the button to scroll through your apps, messages and workouts. Like on most newer smartwatches, you can receive all kinds of notifications on your watch that you would normally get on your smartphone. If it's Snapchat, Instagram, WhatsApp, missed calls or emails, you get it all on that little device. You can also answer to the messages that you receive. So you can either use one of the quick reply options, use the speak to dictate feature that works great, as long as the background noises aren't too loud, or you can write your own message on a little keyboard you have. It's a little bit difficult every once in a while since the keyboard really isn't that big and some of you guys probably have some fat fingers like I do and it's a little bit hard to type. But besides that, it's a great feature to have on any smartwatch. And I just love it since I already know if it's worth pulling out my smartphone from my pocket or not. There's really nothing the Skagen Fossil 6 does not have. So overall we have 8 gigs of internal storage so we can download all kinds of apps and music right to the watch. So we can actually download Spotify and once the watch is connected to our Spotify Premium account, we can download all kinds of playlists, podcasts, our favorite tracks right to the watch and listen to them offline. By the way, we can not only download music, but we can use the watch also for music navigation. So we can go back a track, skip a track, play and pause and adjust the volume. But you can not only download Spotify to this watch, but you can also download all kinds of apps. Just open up your Google Play Store and you can start browsing for apps. It's even separated in different categories, so you can download apps that you already have on your smartphone, look for music apps, streaming apps, sport apps. There are really a lot of apps to explore. I mean, there are a bunch of crappy apps, but there are also some apps that are pretty useful. Now one thing that works perfectly with our offline music are the workouts. Overall, you probably have around 100 different workout modes to choose from. So you basically have everything covered starting from running, walking, and hiking workouts, all the way up to some winter sports, cycling, dancing, and strength workouts. You can also set some goals and alerts, and you have a built-in GPS. Now regarding the built-in GPS, it is not the greatest to be honest. And right here, I've got a prime example on how good the built-in GPS really is. As you can see, every time I'm surrounded by buildings, the GPS goes wild and is all over the place. Then in open spaces in the park, it is dead accurate. And at the end, I ended inside some buildings for some reason, right between two streets. So I guess there's nothing more to say for me right here. Next up, we've got probably one of the most important points on any smartwatch, which is the battery life. Now, just like many other smartwatches, the Skyrim 6 isn't the best smartwatch when it comes down to the battery life. Now, over my last couple of days of testing, I got around 24 to 36 hours of battery life on average, depending on how much I was using it and how many workouts I did. But overall, I had all of the health tracking features on, I had the brightness settings on high, and I had the awesome display mode turned on. But luckily, we have a few battery saving options 
to get us a little bit more out of our battery life. We can either decide to turn this watch into a dummy watch and turn on the watch only mode. We have the extended mode which only turns off a few features in exchange for that we get a few days of battery life. The daily mode that I've been using most of the time and we have a custom mode in which you can decide in which time span you want to have your Bluetooth turned on and off. You can specifically toggle off features that you do not need and toggle on the features that you need. By the way, just like the Fossil Gen 6, this watch charges up super fast. It goes from zero to 80% in just about 30 minutes. So that kind of makes up for the bad battery life, I guess. With the Scott 6, you have two dozens of watch faces to choose from. Now, of course, you can always download some new watch faces from the Google Play Store, but let's stick with the watch faces that we get by default. So by long pressing the home screen, you get to your watch faces. From over here, you can swipe left and right or use the rotatable button to go through all of your watch faces. So you have some basic analog ones, very minimalistic ones, some with a lot of metrics and some goofy ones. Also, some of these watch faces are customizable, so you can actually see what metrics should be displayed select some shortcuts for apps, change the colors of the background and the hands. And as far as I can see, all of the watch faces has their own always on display mode watch face, so you will never get bored. So let's talk about some features this watch actually has to offer. So you get your standard 24 seven heart rate monitoring, sleep tracking that tracks your light and deep sleep, as well as your awake time, an SPO2 tracker that only tracks during the night or on demand, a weather widget and the usual stuff like an alarm, stopwatch, timer, breathing exercises, a rather bright flashlight and armrest calls. Yep, since this watch actually has a built-in mic and a speaker, you can call your friends and family right from your watch. You can either punch in the number on the dial pad or look for your contacts in the contacts book. By the way, if your smartwatch is hooked up to your smartphone and your smartphone is hooked up to your earbuds, you can actually use them to talk to your friends and family. As for last, before we get to the next point, let's talk about the Wear OS. Fossil already promised us that this watch will get the Wear OS 3 update. Right now we're still running on 2.3, which is fine in my opinion, but Wear OS is definitely better in many ways. Now the price of 299 euros might seem a little bit high, but it's definitely not overpriced. Now if you compare the features that we get with the Skagen Fossil 6 and compare it to other smartwatches like the Fossil Gen 6 or the Galaxy Watch 4, the Skagen doesn't slack behind. Well, Fossil Gen 6 might be a bad example, but I guess you get what I mean. By the way, I'll leave the link to the watch down in the description below just in case you want to get right to it. Everything you buy over there using one of my links, Amazon pays me a few percentages. It's not more expensive for you and helps me out a little bit. By the way, regarding to two watches that I just mentioned, the Fossil Gen 6 and the Galaxy Watch 4, I got two great videos for you right here just in case you're interested. And with that being said, see you the next time. Peace.